Hello everyone and welcome back to the Venebe Zoo. Today we are going to add the giant otters to the aquatic area and I know there's no gameplay again because I forgot and um, yeah I already started recording while streaming. So this was all built live on Twitch well like 80% of it. I think we almost finished it. It was uh, quite a uh, productive stream which uh, normally isn't really the case and it's always uh, a bit of a pain to uh, to edit this so you might see a little uh, jumps here and there so first the path was a bit of a struggle i couldn't get the path in the way i wanted otherwise i had to remove the water from the pygmy hippo habitat and i couldn't get that back in as it was i know the blueprint sometimes is a struggle as well i will have to look into that uh, but yeah it's, it's a really old like blueprint slash building habitat it's uh so i think due to the updates and stuff it's not really working anymore so yeah we will see um so if you have any questions about that make sure you uh, put that on steam as well if it's not working or uh, or anything like that but yeah let me know what we are going for for the giant otters i'm uh, i'm going for a little uh, tropical river that's probably the most basic thing you can do for giant otters right um with underwater viewing on one side, so on the opposite side of the pygmy hippo habitat, we will have the underwater viewing for the giant otters. So you will have two underwater viewing stuff things right next to each other. I think that's kind of cool. And this one really finishes off the tropical section of the zoo, which um, which is kind of nice. I think it, it connects each other and um, yeah, it, it fits pretty well. So the glass, I still couldn't research the uh, the thick barrier i think it's fixed by now but while i was recording this i uh, I, I couldn't research it yet but i i, I thought i'd seen something someone say that it was fixed with the new uh, with the new update there's a lot of bug fixes going on of course with the with the new pack there also come some new bugs um so that's uh, i think most of them are fixed by now so that's uh, so that's good news Again, this habitat will contain around 503,000 rocks, I think, more or less. It's a quick calculation here. Uh, but I'm going for a different color here. As you can see, I'm trying to make something that looks a bit more like the tropical rocks with, uh, with like the cracks. I, uh, I turned them into like a green color. I think that looks kind of tropical. I don't know. Let me know uh, down in the comments what you think about this habitat. If you like it, if you hate it. That's, that's also possible, you never know. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it will be a lot of rock placement. Right now I'm uh, switching the barriers and I thought I couldn't do that anymore. But sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Normally when there's already water in there and uh, you couldn't really lower the barrier anymore. I, I tried that for example with the ice rink. That didn't work. Uh, but over here it does work. So if you know more about that when it works, when it doesn't. Yeah, also let me know because uh, I'm, I'm always open to uh, to learn a bit more. Over here I'm starting a little viewing area. The same thing as we did with like the uh, uh, the penguins and the seals. So a little viewing stuff. I really like those arches and I try not to use them too often. I know it's, uh, it's starting to look uh, repetitive. But I do think that the three habitats that we built so far. We're using the, the same pieces but it really gives you another vibe and it really is another habitat so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, yeah with how this area is turning out the only animal left right now is the dwarf hymen and uh, yeah that's that's gonna be it for uh, for this uh, for this area and probably for Veluwe Zoo although I'm thinking about redoing the uh, South America part I uh, I did ask you guys in the previous video in the comments which animal you still really want to see in Veluwe and a lot of people commented on that they really wanted to see the Jaguar so um, yeah I'm gonna think about that I might add that and I will redo the entire uh, like South America part before we uh, before we finish because I'm not really happy with it it's, uh, it's in a weird spot and it looks weird and we did a strange little building but that's uh, that's always the same with the new pack I started building I'm not really happy with it and uh, in like with the aquatic pack I just deleted it and with the South America pack I left it in basically that's uh, that's what happened uh, but it's always the same with like a new pack you really excited for it you open up the game you sit down okay I'm gonna build something nice and then you're like I don't know one or two hours in and 
you build absolutely nothing or something that looks crap or whatever. Um, yeah, these new rock things, they are actually uh, made to, uh, yeah, to do something like this, I guess, to make like a costume tree kind of thing. I wanted to add them. I didn't really use them yet, so I had to do something with it. Um, so it, it fits over here perfectly, uh, like in a few minutes when all the foliage is there and uh, yeah, it, it will look nice, really tropical. I'm, I'm not really keeping in mind the plants over here, just uh, imagine then if they can't grow here, they must be fake. Something like that. Um, but I, I wanted to go for the, uh, for the tropical vibe and I wanted to use like most of the new plants and stuff like that. But also a weird thing that I found. You can't really use the new plants with the new animals, which is really weird. I think the new plants are mostly like tropical Asia and stuff. And while the others are from South America and the Dwarf Cayman are also from South America. So I think that's kind of a weird choice, actually. But um, I think, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure why they did that, but yeah, must be a reason, I guess. So again, a lot of rock work on this side. I uh, I wanted to make one bigger like a uh, viewing spot over here. So I will take the barrier out, make it one piece of smooth glass over here, and it will uh, it will look really nice. I'm covering everything up with these with these rocks. So it's uh, quite of a, a repetitive video, as <laughs> as you can imagine. But uh, someone in the in the stream in the chat suggested a waterfall so uh, i thought yeah why not add the new waterfall effect right over here it's a bit of a struggle to get it in i'm uh, trying some rock work here and there we'll delete it because it looks weird as you can see it's way too big on the left side and too small on the right side and i will change it and uh, right now it's still not okay so i will fix it again and remove it and move it in a little bit and in the end it actually looks uh, it looks quite good i'm happy with it so uh, yeah it's cool but you also might have noticed uh, content slowing down a bit. Of course, we just had the uh, the launch of the aquatic pack. I pushed out like five or six videos in uh, in a week, and that was uh, that was a little bit too much. I think I I got a little bit burned out with the game. I also received my PlayStation 5 last week, so I'm really into uh, some console gaming at the moment, and I don't want to burn myself out with the game completely. Um, for example, I know I have to finish up Borealis, but I might be postponing this week's episode. I'm not really sure yet. I still have to start on it. If I find time and inspiration, what I want to do, then I will, uh, of course, it will just continue as it is. But uh, I might postpone it for a few days. Of course, we are still going to finish up for before Christmas. And this Sunday, we will be live on Twitch with the... Uh, with the Christmas competition. Of course, uh, if you haven't seen that, you still have a few uh, days left. There is a video on the channel about it as well. If you want to enter, you will have a chance to be part of uh, Borealis Zoo and you will um, be able to win a steep gift card so you can buy, I don't know, uh, all the expansions for Planet Zoo or Cyberpunk or I don't know, don't buy Cyberpunk. I read a really a lot of bad stuff about it. Uh, if, you, if you have Cyberpunk, let me know down in the comments, uh, but I think mostly on the PS4, it doesn't really run well. But anyway, that's not really relevant for this uh, video. I just started off with, uh, with the foliage, as you can see. I'm going for some tropical vibes again. It really feels good to do that again, you know, with Zeus Lee and Monkey Island in mind. It's, uh, it has been a while again. So uh, I always love the tropical vibe. It's, um, it's, it's good to have, like, like, you can use a lot of foliage and uh, that, that's kind of cool. So these benches, you can recolor them. So we recolor them into the right color. So it fits into this area. We will finish off this uh, this little rock section. Basically, what we will do is uh, add a lot of rocks. We will uh, finish up the underwater area. Also in this video, I, I put a little bit more effort in. And uh, I'm really happy with the result. If, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this habitat. But now I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the speed build. It will go on for a few more minutes. And then uh, I'm going to speak to you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed, make sure you, uh, you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And yeah, I will see you guys. Bye-bye.